It's not as dry as what I wanted it to be to go to market. But maybe as we shell through the day, we can uh, load the semi. We've got the grain cart out here. Uh, me and Bailey's fixing to go get the, the short truck and put in the bin. short trucked it for right now our handheld moisture checkers checking high that dang wasp I thought I killed it already but uh I didn't get him so I don't know what his problem is but I'm waiting on him to unload on me on this short truck so I can go back to the bin system on the combine loop monitoring system and it was kind of questionable about where they wanted me to put the uh, yield sensor well it didn't last five minutes so I don't know what we're yielding or ballpark what we're yielding and the scales on the grain cart uh, they're not working right either um, I called the company the other day and I stood on the tongue I was within five, ten pounds of my weight, and the first full hopper we put on the combine only showed 109 bushel. So it's Saturday, can't 
call loop, can't call central scales. So we're gonna wing it on this field. So I'm about here to pull out on the highway and uh, go get in the grain cart, maybe. Now, I really don't know what the moisture is. We're just gonna be at their mercy. Uh, these little hand checkers. We got two of them and they're, they're not right. We even took one of them up to the grinder that day and had it, had it calibrated with the one at the grainery and so anyways new grain cart this season we ran it in wheat and uh, I've got the plug to my camera so when you think you got everything ready you don't And I'm not in the center, I'm not used to this car. Well, this cart, the uh, old cart, uh, cart full wouldn't even fill half the truck. And we're probably putting 100 bushel or more on the back here. More efficient. Well, other than the moisture sensor and the scale, so far everything has run good. Uh, another hopper from him and I can fill up the truck and be curious what the moisture really reads. He's come down here on some short rows. I don't know why. This field's choppy, but he had some long rows they could have got. Maybe he's trying to get them before, uh, before dark. Got a short truck uh, to haul off. Uh, this ain't a big field, only 21 acres. So, guesstimation, I'm gonna say 200 on it, 200 average. Uh, some pretty nice ears out here. So, truck ain't loaded, so I'm gonna get off and off of it, off of here and get into that because it ain't no need of uh, trying to load off on this onto that, if that makes any sense. And I'm sorry, I've got a cold. Not feeling the best in the world. just got back. I've hauled uh, two to the bins since he's been gone. Moisture is 14.8, so we're very good. I didn't get to test weight. I'm having to haul this about, I don't know, half a mile up the road. So I'm gonna go back and he said the elevator shut down, I guess at five. I don't even know what time it is. And uh, he got barely got in there, so we'll have a load for Monday, hopefully, if nothing goes wrong. And should about have another duck truck full. And that'll be about 3,500 bushels. So I got to thinking I may be off on the 200 bushel, but we're gonna be close. We'll just have to see. Like I said, this is probably not the best field we got. Probably not, uh, probably the worst field. But it's still a, it's still a producer. Well, we had to turn the lights on. Amazon LEDs. <clears throat> There's video on that somewhere. But uh, we're probably gonna finish this field here in just a minute. I like just about 200 bushel filling up the semi for Monday morning. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. If we don't bring you back, well, maybe I'll be feeling better Monday and we'll just finish up a video Monday and see y'all Tuesday. How's that sound? 
Happy Monday morning to you. Probably Tuesday afternoon before this is out, so I guess we'll be late, but uh, just got some end rolls out here. A little short stretch along the road and going in the back, cutting the end rolls off. And he says it's really coming in. So, the best of my calculations on the field we cut Saturday afternoon, I'm going to be conservative and say 190. But I wouldn't be surprised if it didn't average 200. That being said, that field itself, I probably even on a year like this would have been happy with 175. But this year, this field right here, I'm expecting it to do great things. And I've ordered a yield sensor for the loop monitor this morning. That they're going next day air. Some great people to work with. Super people. If you're in wanting a loop system, uh, contact me and I hope you get one. Well, the neighbor here's got some soybeans about ready. And Doug, when he took that load off, last load off this morning from Saturday, he said that there was a line up there and several people bringing in soybeans already. I think soybeans are going to do as good as corn. I've been hearing what's been cut 65 or 70 bushel an acre. That's pretty good for around here. Since he put some on from the combine on the truck, this may fill it. It was a good rounded, rounded hopper full. So maybe we can get a truck off this morning for lunch. Well, may get in trouble on this this farm right here. As you can see that out there stalks are still green. It was planted this two days after what we cut Saturday. And we sent off two loads. One of them was 14.8, the other one was 15.3. But uh this smells about like chopping silage. He checked it with his moisture checker, which is not accurate. 19 something. So we may have to figure out what to do with the load if they turn it down and uh, move to a different field. I don't know. It's, it's not. It's not made no any sense the way the corn is dried down this year because there was some that we probably could have. Uh, shell that was later maturity and planted later. Well, it seems like it's a struggle every year trying to dry corn down. We quit and went and ate lunch till we found out what the moisture was. 14.9. So uh, we're going to keep rocking. I'm gonna go ahead and call this field over 200. He doesn't got a bubble. You can look out there on the edge of the field, or edge of the corn, see how green it is. That's some of the drier part of it. Or some stalks got a whole lot of grain left on it. It's shocked the shit out of me that it's 14.9. Well, everything been going too smooth. Uh, got chain off. He's insisting on keeping a toolbox on the combine. He don't have the wrenches in there. I made a truck, a service truck. He says he don't like driving the straight shift, so we're not in it. So we gotta go get it. Hopefully get this chain on, no major problems be ready to rock and roll again. Well, it's going to be one of them days, it looks like. Everything went too smooth Saturday. Then put one chain on, and he's called and said, bring the cart, bring the truck. 
something slipping. So uh, we're going to find out what it is and hopefully nothing major and get back to rolling. I was wanting to finish this farm today, but I don't know if we're going to make it or not. Well, maybe we're up and going. We got the cart full. Uh, Talon's auger got clogged up, so we had unclogged that and opened the shoe up, and maybe we're we're, we're better. Uh, this is some really good corn. I don't know how well you can see them ears. But I think about everybody in Lawrence County, Tennessee, and mostly Tennessee and Northern Alabama is going to have the best corn they've ever had this year. If they don't, something was wrong. Well, no sooner than I get unloaded, uh, he's full again. That's a good problem to have. We can just keep it going. Uh, that last cartload was awful trashy where I guess the tailors wasn't cleaning out, so we're gonna see how clean this was. This is, we started out pretty clean. We keep clogging up the clean green elevator, so we've checked everything out, tightened up a belt, and for some reason he wants to go back over on the other side of the, of the farm and cut, so uh, we'll see how this goes. Maybe we solved it. We tightened that belt up quite a bit, but I uh, feel like there's something else wrong. Well, I've parked that till the big truck gets back. With old Whitey. Probably have it full before the big truck gets back. cover crop plane showed up gonna get this field behind the uh, fence row back here I assuming that's what he's doing if he's flying it on me over there or what what the deal is or if he's spreading over here on the neighbor because that's my field and he's flying sideways 
Oh well. Now he's flying on the neighbor. I guess he'll get me next. I guess he's spraying that field or spreading that field. Got a friend of ours driving the grain cart. He didn't work today, so uh, he come over here and have something to do. So I'm driving that and taking video of planes. About to get run over. We got our problem we had with the combine straightened out, hopefully. Uh, just didn't have the shoe opened up enough. We've run into that problem before. And uh, I always hear run them straight up. I got a load on this truck. Uh, Jameson had to leave, so Doug's almost back with a big truck. So I'm gonna jump out of this and jump on the tractor and grain cart and load him. There's Doug pulling back in. Load him and see if I can get him to unload this. And they're not taking any more at the granary tonight. They quit at six o'clock, it's six oh three. So that load will be in for be in be for the morning. We've just about got enough to uh, try and turn that down. Fill the big truck. Uh, we think we got a bearing going out. So I think we're going to cut a load. I don't know if we're going to... Another hopper ought to fill the, the grain cart. So I don't know if we're going to go try to fill the grain cart and combine and dump truck or... He said something about quitting. So... Uh, We'll just have to see. I got enough on back here to fill that truck. Um, it's starting to get dark. Don't know if we're going to fill the short truck and the grain cart and call it a night, but we can't do nothing with that until the morning. So uh, I'm tired. I'm going to go ahead and call this video. Thanks for watching. God bless you, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. It'll be corn, probably.